Russia and the United States say they remain at odds over how to respond to the crisis in Syria following talks on the edges of the G8 summit in Northern Ireland. Russian President Vladimir Putin has blasted the U.S. decision to arm anti-government rebels. He spoke alongside President Obama Monday about the conflict that's killed more than 90,000 people. Of course, our opinions do not coincide, but all of us have the intention to stop the violence in Syria, to stop the growth of victims and to solve the situation peacefully, including by bringing the parties out to the negotiating table in Geneva. President Obama, meanwhile, announced an additional $300 million in U.S. humanitarian aid for Syria and neighboring countries coping with refugees from the crisis bringing the total amount of such aid to $800 million. Speaking, <clears throat> speaking at the G8, President Obama also announced formal talks for a massive free trade deal between the U.S. and Europe will open next month in Washington. The deal could see tariffs and other trade barriers eliminated between the U.S. and 27 European countries. British Prime Minister David Cameron touted the transatlantic trade and investment partnership as possibly the biggest bilateral trade deal in history. Protests are continuing outside the G8 summit, with thousands gathering to voice their opposition to U.S. foreign policy, environmental devastation and global austerity. The Guardian reports Britain has spent some $78 million on security for the G8, with thousands of police on hand. But so far, protests have been peaceful, and only two people have been arrested at the summit.